I am Dr. Ajay Sharma, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, James Engineering Management Technical Campus, Greater Noida. The subject that I teach in this semester is optoelectronics and optical communication. This is the main subject for BTEC seven semester students of electronics and communication engineering branch. And the topic that I discuss today in this lecture is optical detector and its properties. Well, optical detector is the main section of optical receiver or you may say this optical detector used in optical receiver and the function of this optical detector is inverse of optical source means the function of this optical detector is to convert a optical signal into electrical signal and the function of optical source is to convert electrical signal into optical signal right so the optical detector actually the performance of this optical detector is the performance of optical receiver means the performance of optical receiver totally depends on performance of optical detector so an optical detector is just like a transducer that converts an optical signal into its electrical signal and this electrical signal which is the output of the optical detector is a equivalent electrical signal right means the variations of electrical signal at the output of the electric optical detector is depends upon the variation of the optical signal so basically optical detector detect or sense the optical energy optical power optical signal at its input and give electrical signal at its output and if you look at the picture how this phenomena happens the light is coming from outside right and light is composed of photons and each photon have energy hf right so when there is an impact of photon from outside on the depletion region or the region where electron holes are combined when this hf energy is absorbed by this electron hole pair which are bond together then this energy is observed by this electron hole bonded pair and if energy is of a photon is sufficient means the energy of photon which is equals to hf 
where h is the planck's constant and f is the energy of the photon if this energy hf is greater than eg where eg is the band gap energy of the material that is used in the manufacturing of optical detector so if this energy hf which is the energy of photon is greater than eg then electron hole bond are break and electron leave its position at valence band and come to a conduction band this is only be possible when hf have sufficient energy so all the energies of photons are absorbed by the bonded pair and if all the photons have sufficient energy means greater than greater than band gap energy then electrons are generated and generation of electron is nothing but it's a current because current is due to free electrons right so one photon which have a sufficient energy produce one free electron and electron when you have a electron means you have a current so in this way all the energy or the power of photon is converted into free electrons so this is the concept behind the working of optical detector how energy how this optical signal optical power converted into current so optical detector generating an electrical current proportional to the intensity of incident optical radiation means whatever the output of the optical detector has obviously electrical current should be proportional to the intensity of incident optical radiation means the 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 output of uh, optical detector which is a current the variation of electric current actually depends upon the variation of input intensity of optical radiations so on the basis of that we can say that whatever the output of the opti optical detector is is proportional to the input so output of course which is a current we can say that this current represent input which is nothing but a incident optical radiation right now the relationship between input optical radiation and the output electric current is given by detector responsivity so each optical detector has has you know has its own responsivity bit responsivity and how you define this responsivity actually responsivity is a ratio of output upon input in optical detector so capital r this responsivity is represented by capital r which is the ratio of output upon input in optical detector so the output of optical detector is a current whose unit is in ampere and input of optical detector is a optical energy or power and the unit is watt so ampere per watt is the unit of responsivity so with this is uh, this particular term is very much important and each uh, and the performance of uh, you know of any optical detector can be judged with by this term responsivity right so fiber optic communication system requires that optical detector meets specific performance and compatibility requirements so many of the requirements are similar to those of optical source because optical source and op optical detector both use a diode very interesting same diode i mean diode can be used as a optical source as well as the optical detector so look at the application of diode right uh, so in this picture if you focus on the picture on the diagram on this particular slide the radiation is coming from outside which are h mu h mu represent a photon energy so these are the photon having energy h mu if, if the frequency of all the photons are same means mu is same and h is a 
constant so h mu so each photon has its own h mu right so when these are incident on this on the surface of this diode free electrons are generated and flowing across the circuit and in this way in this way the current is come in the picture and this voltmeter uh, you know a needle is deviated from zero means there is some current there is some voltage right so come to the requirement of optical detector what are the requirements of optical detectors first optical detector should be compatible in size to low loss optical fibers to allow the efficient coupling and easy packaging so optical detector should be compatible with the optical fiber uh, because the because whatever the energy that optical fiber have should be totally transferred to the optical detector so that the optical detector gives its output on the basis of input and input should be 100% and this is only be possible when your optical detector is compatible with the optical fiber second point is a heavy high sensitivity uh, at the operating wavelength of the optical source so optical detector should be very much sensitive how well, and it depends uh, you know many times the signal that reach at the receiver is very weak so receiver should respond very weak signal also so that is that is that, that only be possible when the receiver has it high sensitivity have a sufficient short response time sufficiently wide bandwidth to handle the system's data rate contribute low amount of noise to the system this is also very important because noise is one of the factor that creates a problem for us it distort the signal error and and when noise mix in the signal then it's very difficult for the receiver to take to take a right decision right so so amount of noise should be low as possible maintain a stable operation in changing environment conditions such as temperature this is also be very important factor because there is a sometimes there is a you know some some you know summer season there is a temperature reach to a 45 around 45 so detector uh, this particular temperature uh, can't affect uh, you know or should not affect the detector operation so that should be also be taken in the mind so changing an environment should not affect the you know operation of the detector so <laughs> optical detectors that meet many of these requirement uh, and are suitable for fiber optic system are semiconductor photodiodes so these optical uh, detectors are nothing but these are the photodiodes because basically optical detector based on diode and photons are coming from outside that have a impact on these diodes so the name of this optical detector are photodiodes so photodiodes have the capability to give a current according to the photons that is that is coming from outside having the energy h mu where h is planck's constant and mu is the frequency of the of the photon right so h mu is the energy so the principal optical detectors used in fiber optic system includes semiconductor positive intrinsic negative yani pin photodiode so there are basically three types of photodiode ordinary photodiode second is pin photodiode p, uh, p type intrinsic anti photodiode and avalanche photodiode so these are the three photodiodes that are used in optical communication to convert uh, your optical energy into a current so these are basically the three important you know uh, optical detector and these are in our syllabus also as far as the syllabus of this particular university is concerned we have pin diode and apd 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 is very important because nowadays mostly apd are used because apd have high gain right so mostly uh, apd is are used pin diode diode photodiode are also used as a switch but avalanche photodiode have vast application so so photodiode has basically you know convert uh, optical radiations that consist of photons because photon is a particle the smallest particle 
right of light. So, light is composed of small particles and the small particle that is small particle is called photon right. So, photon coming from outside and there is impact of photon on you know on the structure of this diode then electrons then uh, you know then bond are break when bond is break electrons are free. Why bond are break? Because of the energy is your radiation energy converted into you know to take to take to transfer this energy to this bonded at, uh, electron hole pair and by absorbing this energy electrons are free and move from valence band to conduction band in that way free electrons are come in the picture and these free electrons creates a current. So, this is the basic principle that involved in this all optical detectors. So, thank you very much that is all.